Hey Vapers, Abby here. Today we're just doing a super quick tutorial on this new wicking method that I found. It was actually a Reddit post. Somebody posted an unlisted video on YouTube and it kind of blew my mind what they actually did with this Japanese cotton and um, how well it actually works. So I wanted to share it with you guys. Basically, this is just going to be a video of me doing the wicking method and I'm going to be testing it out, but I've been vaping on it for a couple hours now and I'm actually really shocked at how well this works. I haven't really had any problems burning the cotton, which was my concern, or getting juice to the wick. So basically it's a super tight, packed, tightly packed <laughs> wicking method. You're gonna take your Japanese cotton square and then you're just gonna kind of like pull it apart a little bit so that you get a really, a really long, wide um, piece like the one underneath there. So I'm just doing this to a second one to show you guys kind of how it looks and how you do it. Now, once you've got your piece kind of uh, flattened out and kind of pulled out a little bit, then you're going to split it in half if you've got a dual coil set up. And then each one of these is going to be for each coil. And I'm just kind of pulling it apart even more because I feel like it's going to be, at this point I was thinking there's no way I'm getting all this cotton into my coil. So once you get it split apart like that, you're just going to kind of fold it over itself and kind of make a tightly wrapped little roll there and I was looking at the width of this and I was like there's no way that's fitting into my coil but stick with me on this <laughs> so I'm just doing the same thing to the other one and then you will notice that I do cut a little bit off because it was just really wide um, you just want to make sure you know that you can actually get it through the coil but I've noticed with Japanese cotton that you can really twist it and smash it down really well and you're just gonna end up cutting that piece off anyway so it's kind of uh, you know no problem doing that so again just folding it over making that little that little roll the little Swiss roll and then I did take my scissors and just cut off a little bit of the end just to make it a little smaller because I was worried about getting it in the coil. All right, so once you've got it rolled up, you are going to torque that end and twist that end as much as you possibly can to get it small enough to start feeding it through your coil. Now this is kind of the hard part. You just need to keep uh, keep twisting it, keep twisting it until you can get a little bit of that to come through the coil and then you can pull, you can kind of force the rest of it in there. So as you can see, I'm having kind of a difficult time doing this, but once you get a little itty bitty edge coming through, you can kind of start pulling it and getting the rest of that wick through. And you want to also make sure that you're not, um, you're not damaging the coil in the process, so you might need to kind of put your finger on the coil as you pull it through. But you basically want, and sorry this is out of frame guys, but you basically want to get as much of that cotton in there. It is like crazy difficult getting it through, but as you can see it's starting to come through now. And you can put your finger on the coil as well, like I'm doing here, just to make sure that it's not uh, distorting the coil in any way. Also, this is a good wicking method for uh, thicker, uh, thicker wire, of course. You know, if you had like a 28 gauge canthal, it's probably going to distort your coil pretty good. <laughs> so now we've got it in there and I'm thinking to myself, there's no way that this is actually gonna be be good but we're going to go ahead and cut off the ends now you want to cut them pretty short i probably could have even gone a little bit shorter but you just want it touching the juice well that's it that's all you need you just want it touching the juice well and since it is so thick the cotton is is there's so much in there the diameter of kind of that cotton is so big you really don't want a long tail at all you're just going to be kind of restricting the airflow at that point so you just want a little bit hanging over.
All right, so as you can see, we're just doing the other side here. I am just trying to get this wig through, just pulling it through and getting it through there. Make sure your device is off also so that you don't accidentally hit the button and fire your device because I've done that before and it is not pretty. So we've got it through. I'm just cutting the wicks super close here. Sorry, I keep going off frame. It's a little difficult to film this, but I'm just cutting the wicks off just like that and fluffing them up a little bit. And that's what it looks like. I actually go in and trim a little bit more off the wicks because there was a lot of cotton in there. So you just wanna make sure that it's just gonna sit on the deck and that's pretty much it. So the final step here before we juice her up is just taking a small little pick here, whatever you've got, and just sticking the wicks down into the deck. You just wanna make sure that they're just going in nice. I like to kinda of still keep that little C formation when you're putting it down in there, but if it's cut properly, it's just pretty much gonna just sit down on the deck. You're not gonna really need to uh, do much maneuvering with it, I guess. And here is your finished product. Fresh coil, nicely wicked. Super tight cotton wicking method. Last step is to juice her up and then you are good to go. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have tried this method or if you think it's crazy or it's never gonna work. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys next time. Bye. You can find these e-liquids at drkrimi.com and guess what? They are 20 bucks for a 60 ml bottle. We're going to be doing the taste test.